Hello, it's the ghost. Welcome to They Call Me the Ghost. Today, I'm going to share with you a real paranormal experience shared by a Reddit user. But hey, first, if you are a fan of the strange but true happening in our world and the dark and mysterious goings on, then you're in the right place. So subscribe and let's go. All right, today, my real paranormal experience, it ruined my life. He says, I'm not going to lie to anyone, that's not a joke, and I am not sick. I don't know what I'm doing here, whether that's the way to go about it, because he's on Reddit, remember. But I've now decided to share my experience here with you. It's not a story that I've come up with or anything else because of my experiences. So he says, and he also goes on to say that he's definitely been laughed at, and even by people who work in his church, and doctors. So, very interesting. He doesn't seem believable to those guys. What do we think? He says, I hope that I reach people that have experienced something similar. I don't know why I just started crying. I'm 18 right now, and I'm wondering why I still live after this experience. I can still remember it because this experience is burned into my brain, and I wonder if that was a dream or not. But it's felt so real. I also thought that if maybe anything happened through parasomnia, a kind of sleep paralysis, but I didn't have the symptoms of that. I was able to talk and I could move and perform normal activities. Whether I was in a certain illusion or a trance is still not clear to me. It happened when I was about nine or ten. I was happy, I had friends, and everything was normal. I never had a bad relationship with anyone or had anything negative there either. I was just a person who was enjoying his life and living through it. I'd never experienced any kind of abuse or anything like that, but that one night, it changed my life. My mother took me to bed and read me a story about fairy tales. My room was very childish still at that point. I had pink furniture and cuddly toys everywhere. However, there was a corner in my room that was empty, so there was nothing standing there. As my parents wanted me to buy guinea pigs, and therefore we'd already made some space for that in my room... When my mother was done reading her stories to me, she turned off the lights and went to sleep herself. She always left the door open for me, so I was very comfortable. No nightlight, just dark, and they fell asleep. And this person says they always had peaceful dreams until that night when they heard it. A heavy breathing from the empty corner of their room says it literally ripped me out of my sleep. And you can certainly imagine the frightening gaze I had. I was turned with my back to that corner. I don't know how to explain it, but I think you already understand what I mean. I thought maybe these are my parents, or maybe my brother, as he had to go to the toilet more often than he should, and he liked to prank me also. I tried to fall asleep again and started sweating. I was so scared in that moment. It maybe took a few minutes or hours that passed, and the breathing just wouldn't stop, so I finally dared to look in the corner which was the biggest mistake of my life. At that moment, I became pale. I got goosebumps. I tore my eyes open. It was painful. And then I saw it. I saw an older version of me standing in the corner with long, curly, and dark brown hair. She wore a long dress that was partially torn and dirty. She had no legs and theoretically flew across the floor. She was pale, and you could see the notching of veins already out of the skin. The body was also completely overlooked, with scars, as the dress was somewhat transparent. She was completely emaciated. But the worst was the face. This eye, or no, this thing, had scars on its face everywhere, and it smiled at me with yellow and muddled teeth. Her eyes were ripped open and glowing yellow with her pupils. They were dark and black and large. This thing stood in the corner and wristles me in the soul with her eyes. She literally looked like an older version of me, although she looked like a corpse. At that moment, without jokes, I thought I was going to die, and I said goodbye to my family and my thoughts even. This thing was suddenly closer and closer, coming towards me, moving. It still had the same facial pull. It was like a statue slowly pushed to my bedside. I was paralyzed. But when I realized this thing was getting closer, I took my duvet and I hid under it. The bad thing was that my duvet also was somewhat see-through. It was thin. I could easily recognize everything in my room through the corner. And the same goes for this monster. It was already next to my bed, bending down badly, slowly to me, to continue to look into my soul with those disturbing eyes. 
Never before have I heard my heart throbbing so loudly, and never have I started shaking so brutally. I started to cry, actually. However, I tried to be quiet. I was pretending to be asleep, but the crying actually hurt. I wanted to turn my back to this monster, avert my gaze, but wanted to avoid any movement to draw attention from me. Minutes, maybe hours, I don't know. It felt like years, so long that this thing just stared at me. I thought that when it gets bright, when the hours pass, that this thing would disappear. I literally prayed to God and thanked him that this monster couldn't do anything to me physically. But then came the shock of my life when this monster slowly raised this dirty and scarred hand over me and took my duvet and moved it. I could really see those obnoxious moldy fingers and it wanted to rip the duvet off of me. I wanted to scream from that moment, but suddenly I couldn't do that anymore. I've never felt such fear. I was frozen. I was so damn lucky that this thing was incredibly slow because then probably my survival instinct came along and I was screaming incredibly loudly for my mom and dad all of a sudden. Well, they came in running straight away and it literally felt like an emergency or maybe even a rescue. This thing disappeared into the ground in a sanctive way just before my parents came into the room like it knew. Well, I can tell you I've never been so happy to see my parents. Yet after this incident, I only have misfortune and I feel persecuted in a way as well as watched constantly. I haven't been able to sleep properly since that event, which was years ago. Often I get sick and I've been depressed a lot. I have no friends really left and I'm literally lost, yet the bad thing is I haven't been able to see in the mirror since. I'm afraid of being murdered, which is why I don't go out of the house, only if I have to go to work, I guess. And I can still see that face in front of my bed in the dark. I still have to live in this room. Unfortunately, I still get nightmares about it. This person is 18 years old now, so this happened when they were nine, so halfway through their life at this point scared him so bad that nothing in his life has been the same since. Now, I want us to imagine this. He's coming out sharing this on Reddit, which for most people is a safe place to share things. People want to talk about stuff. They sometimes don't even care if they believe it or not. They need to get it out, though. For the person that it happened to, it's more than just, hey, I want to be cool on Reddit. Sometimes it is something true, and they really do need to get it out, get feedback, and finally not feel so alone. Imagine living with this for almost a decade. I can't really believe that there aren't some of you out there that haven't had an experience like this, similar to this, that you've lived with in quiet, in secret, that you didn't want to tell anyone. Maybe you shared with someone like your husband or wife and they half thought you were crazy, but they didn't really say much. And then you guys haven't talked about it since. Maybe you shared it with your brother or sister, or maybe like this person, you shared it with your parents. And then, of course, it dies down. No one thinks you're crazy anymore because the situation just goes away. But creepy stuff is happening during the night. How many secrets do we think are out there about this? How many people are living with the, am I crazy? Was I crazy? I shouldn't talk about it because it makes me feel crazy. Who else is living in a nightmare like this? And when do we think we'll ever get to the true answers of what these ghost pests are? Because really, if they're unexplained, why are they pestering someone? What does it mean? Why don't they come back if they have a point to prove? What is your guy's theory on how this all works? Can you really have a one-time ghost experience that completely freaks you out, and then you never have it again? What does it leave you thinking? Is anyone else lost out there? Share your thoughts, share your stories. I'd love to hear from you. And thank you for listening today, and I will talk to you all soon.